but we won't be getting there for like a couple hours just getting only like mm, probably an hour and a half which is actually a pretty good estimate of it except I probably won't be showing all of it because we have to do this about two no three more times and then the next time will be the one that I quit on because like I have to do well, I'm not too sure for the dual blade because I've never gotten there with them because this is like it's technically my second dual blade but the first one I had messed up on the stats well not really the stats but the skills and I only got them to like rank 25 or something so it wasn't not even 25 I'm gonna guess so it wasn't really even high at all to even try out these skills but there is a lot more mangoes up here but we're not gonna be finding the cherries unless they're in the way of the mango I feel a cough coming on there it was and we're already only 13 away from it but we're just gonna go back and forth until we find the mangoes in the map because hopefully they'll respawn while I'm at the other map. Looks like there's a lot on the top. But I should have went on the top first because then I could easily get on there instead of having to go against the escalator. Which is a problem later on when there's more hordes of them up here. And then they get, just keep on knocking you down and you're unable to get up. Uh, might as well just kill them. As you see, like the things they shoot out, they don't just go straight, they actually like home in on you. But the good thing is that it just like, it homes on you, shoots, and it just keeps on going straight though. So you won't have to like run away from it. You can, some of the times if you just hit them and you're standing like right in front of them, you can just duck and then you'll dodge it but then usually there's more than one or it takes long enough for that thing to come at you that another one get shot but here's a new shoe that we got We're getting a lot of eclipse here and so apparently someone else killed it or well, got it down more health than I got done to it so it's not letting me grab it so I'm gonna go kill that guy and come back and there we go Pierre shoe for Bowman, that's awesome, not us. And got a... What is that? Um, I, don't, I know it's a mana potion. Oh, it's a mana elixir, there we go. Couldn't think of the correct term. That bubble went pretty far. And so that was about, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes, maybe less, I'm not sure, yeah it was less than 10 minutes, probably like 6-ish, but believe me it will be getting longer and longer, which is more and more fun, except not really, especially with how much um, recovery items we'll be wasting on this. Which is another reason why I like the carnival party quest more than doing these random quests and stuff because you won't waste any money and you can actually gain money from buying stuff with the label coins and, <coughs> and then selling them. But we got our last one. So that's all good since we're at area D which is as high as it goes up to 
just go to the right again and we'll get to area A. That's how they all work. They go A through D and then they repeat, so just in case you were wondering. And so we just turn this quest into this guy. And now, if you thought you were done with this guy, then you're wrong. You need to get a secret recipe, which somehow got all the way to the third or fourth floor. Don't get how these guys keep on losing their stuff. But since that was the first and second, this is the third and fourth. And here we have these vending machines. They also shoot within a line shot, but whenever you kill them, six of these little monsters come out and you kill them. I think they only have one HP. We actually got a card from that, but I think they only have one HP. But it's just easier with the triple stab because they can die so much easier. But we're just gonna go and turn this in now. It's quick, pretty easy to get all the way back down though because of the stairs going with you so you go really fast. Turn this in, and we get 13,000. Not too bad for just getting that secret recipe. I wish they were all that easy and that high of reward, but nope. And now we have to talk to Tina, makeup artist, so. You always get like around 13,000 experience whenever you do that first quest where you just have to talk to them. So apparently for the makeup artist, she needs keychains, which makes total sense. So, <coughs> you might think that 50 for each one, making a total of 120, well not 50 each one, but 50 for two of them, would be a lot, but it's actually, actually to contradict what I said before, this is actually probably the easiest one for this kind of a quest. And since we don't want the only one per map kind of a uh, enemy, we go over here. But actually, they only have one per okay, one per map enemy. But actually, it's pretty easy because if you think about it, every time you kill one, they drop out six guys, and then each guy each guy has like, opportunity to drop one keychain. So technically, if you're good enough, you'd only have to kill. Um, nine guys all nine of the vending machine itself and we actually got another card so we're getting pretty lucky today maybe there's like a double drop event And so, not too bad for us to kill this perfume person because we will be wanting that later. Trust me. It's going to be one of the most annoying ones. Maybe not the most annoying one, but like, it's up there. Believe me. But we missed the thing and we actually get the thing where you could just kill it with one hit. But as you can see, we're already halfway there, and we're still only going for the yellow perfumes pretty much. Which take a little bit more than one fatal blow, which kind of sucks. I wish it was a bit more powerful than that, but we'll, <coughs> we'll do without it being that good. And I always like it whenever we get a lot of these pinions on the ground, so it's just fun to kill them all so quickly. And we actually got another shoe. Getting really lucky today. Dark moon, something, something. Gonna get a crap load of penguins on the ground. And there's about 
15 keychains on the ground, which is really good for us. And we are only 7 away. It's really good. From that guy, mob. <laughs> and if you notice on the website of the uh, Nexon.maplestory.net which I always look at the Nexon part because I've never actually seen something that was Nexon dot at the beginning or anything other than www dot for that matter but anyways at their site and also we just got all theirs so we should probably be moving now but anyways <coughs> at their site they had a like on their update thing and there's this new thing called the Big Bang Theory or something. And I'll tell you what that's about after we just figured out that. We actually got another equip, which is the Dark Piffer, Pifter, something like that. But it's a level 40 pirate hat, or it's a thief hat. It'd be better if it was a thief hat, but I'm pretty sure our hat is better than that anyways. And these guys take 1 HP and they transform so you have to be a regular not uh, laying down and then they transform into something pretty good it's really annoying whenever someone hit them and they just <coughs> and then they just ran away then they're all electrified and then they attack you on sight and you don't even have to hit them first but they also only drop one thing so that's why it's only 20 but anyways, back to the Big Bang Theory thing. Um, it's like it's supposed to be this whole new thing where they update the whole game. It's like a new interface kind of with like a uh, blackened border around things and more crisp, clear kind of thing, which looks pretty cool. I also read into it a bit more and it was talking about how like it said all the quests and stuff is going to be redone and said something about leveling up would be easier and it'll, it'll be less grinding <laughs> which would be good but it's supposed to be coming out in December which is not too far away especially by the time I get this video up but I'm going to try and get to rank I mean level 50 by the time the Big Bang Theory comes out so that all of a sudden the WMP just like turns into a whole new game that's what it says on the website little update thing it's like everything you thought about make the story will be changed or something like that and so um, apparently it's supposed to be a whole different experience or something so it'd be best if we could just get through this whole game with it being the same at least as same as possible without the events or with the events and stuff and then I'm gonna plan on doing something else with this game once the Big Bang Theory comes out again well not again but when it comes out or I will if it's a big enough change and if it's not I'm just gonna leave the game alone with WMPing it or whatever but we'll see when it comes out sometime in December like I said but didn't have a day which isn't too surprising but it seemed pretty cool it's been like announced for a while maybe a month I have no idea but I heard about it a while ago so they've apparently been working on it for a decent amount of time which makes sense when it, they were talking about that big of a change which I hope it's not gonna be bad it's gonna make the game totally easy and we actually got another shoe I'm pretty sure there's like a times two drop rate or something cuz look at all this crap I've got <laughs> 